Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. It's Friday. Um, so I learned something from Michael. And he and I were talking about it at dinner last night. So when somebody, when I feel like I've been wronged, it is my natural instinct to confront. I am comfortable with confrontation. I actually prefer it because it is a way that I can release the anger and stress and frustration I have about a situation. The kill them with kindness and all of those things that I'm learning and that I've been taught since I moved to the South are not as fulfilling for me. I'll be honest. It's sort of like the low fat version of dealing with things. You know, like when you really want ice cream and someone gives you like low fat something or other and you're like, it's good, I guess. But it's not like ice cream. That's how I feel about killing people with kindness. I get it. I see the purpose. But it's not as fulfilling for me as to just confront. Um, but anyway, my husband's like, you know, he, he subscribes to the whole you don't have to show up to every fight that comes to your doorstep. Whereas I'm like, really? Because I'll put my hair up in three seconds, take these earrings off, hold my shoes. I'll handle that fight in two seconds and we could get back to business. He and I are very different in that way. So he said to me last night, he said, you exhaust so much energy. For someone who preaches protect your peace, you put your peace at risk all the time trying to prove somebody else's lack of character. And he was like, when are you going to learn that somebody's true colors eventually will show? You don't have to work so hard to out them as the liar they are or the cheater they are or the manipulate whatever my issue is. He said, liars lie. That's what they do. So eventually the truth will come out about who they are. Look at someone's past. If they've moved around physically or metaphorically from their behavior, doing it to different people, eventually, and they do it to you, eventually you can stay silent. Eventually, they will do it to someone else, and those people will go, oh, she was right. As he's talking, I'm like, look at this man coffee talking me to death at dinner. I love it. It was so eye-opening for me because even though I know what he's saying, and I may have even said it to other people, to have it, to be schooled in that way and be like t spoken to in a way that I was open to receiving it. I was like, preach, take me to church, babe. I need it. He is absolutely right. How many times has somebody wronged you and you, f they either deny it or they just decide they're, they're not stooping to your level. They're above all of it. And you go, wait, are, what are you kidding? No, I, I really, people are going to hear my side of the story. But the truth is, they don't have to because the truth always rises to the top. No matter how far you run from it, no matter how much you try to bury it, your character is what it is. So unless you work on yourself and genuinely make the changes you need to make so that that character doesn't follow you forward, You'll, it'll eventually show itself. So he was saying to me, you say protect your peace, but you're shredding your peace all over the place trying to prove the poor character of, 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 of somebody who's wronged you. Don't. It'll, it'll eventually come out. They'll eventually show their true colors. And, you, and I say it all the time, sometimes silence is the loudest response. I needed a little education yesterday and I'm telling you what, I got it and I'm sharing it. If somebody has wronged you, if somebody has broken your heart, if somebody has let you down, if somebody has lied to you or hurt you or whatever, and you feel like you need to justify or vindicate yourself, you need to 
let people hear your side if you because I know that feeling of not feeling satisfied by just staying quiet. Let's be honest. That's not satisfying. The satis <laughs> the satisfying feeling doesn't come until they end up showing their ass and people go, oh, now I see who they really are. And you go, see, that's what I was talking about six months ago. But in the interim, you want to confront. You want to be heard. Don't. I know it's hard. Believe me, I know it's hard. Stay silent. Let that silence be your response. True character will always show itself. I, I mean, I'd love to be optimistic enough to know that people who hurt other people or, or do wrong can, can put the work in on themselves and make it better. And I believe that some do. I certainly have myself in the past. So I do know that it can be done. And if that happens, great, even better. Because now you've got a good person walking around. I know, just don't destroy your peace trying to prove the poor character of someone else because it will eventually show itself. It's something to think about, I'll tell you what. Um, I love you so much today and I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Have a great day.